Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Alexandra here. How are you? So today we're gonna to be doing autumn 2019 favorites and flops. I can't believe it's already almost December. 2019 is almost over. Isn't that crazy? Like that's fucking crazy. I'm going to start I think with the um, favorites because let's start on a positive note. I actually have quite a few things to talk about uh, for this video for favorites and flops this time. Uh, it's just been a really busy fall and I've been trying some new things. So let's just get into the favorites. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is actually a clothing, I guess, lifestyle, I don't know. So I splurged on something for myself. Um, I've been kind of wanting them for a while, a few years. I do not own a pair of slippers and I decided that I wanted to get a pair of Ugg moccasins and wear those as slippers. Here they are. <laughs> Um, I really like them. They're super, super nice. They, um, I think have sheepskin inside them. They're just like the, the regular boot Uggs. They do have like, um, rubber on the bottom for like grip. They're really nice. Uh, I've been wanting them for a few years. I do have a pair of like Uggs winter boots. I've had them for like maybe five years. So the quality is good, but I mean like I'm not going around like hiking in the woods with them they're definitely on their last leg so the quality it is good uh it's kind of overpriced but i am i do feel too old now to be wearing uggs as boots <laughs> so i am going to retreat into wearing them as ugg moccasins uh, around the house as slippers so love those the next thing on my list is actually a mac product i have a, just recently i know gotten on the um, Mac train. I purchased my first Mac Fix Plus Matte Setting Spray. There's a little bit of use on that. This stuff is so good. It's just, it's really nice. It's actually cheaper than um, the Urban Decay All Nighter by a few dollars. So this may be replacing that, and that was like one of my ride or dies. I have oily skin and I wanna wear my makeup like all day, so I really need something that sets it and holds it in place. This definitely does the job. And as a favorite, when I refer to favorites, I mean like things that I will probably repurchase or like recommend. Uh, if it's a flop, obviously it's a big fucking fail. But anyways, this is definitely a favorite. Another favorite that I got this fall that I you will probably have seen if you saw my Sephora VIB haul uh, is the Caudalie, the eye cream. I purchased this. I purchased this in that haul. Um, again, this is something that's replacing probably my ride or die. So that's the thing. Uh, this is really good stuff. I found it actually did a lot for my like darkness under my eyes. It just brightened everything. So definitely this is a good one. It like also doesn't just sit on your skin. It like it soaks in even if you apply this like generously. Another thing that I don't have, um, I'm gonna try to insert a photo for you guys if I can, is the Gliss Ultra Moisture Hair like Detangler Spray. That stuff is really good. It's found at the drugstore and I'm constantly using that type of product. After I wash my hair, I put in some kind of detangler because I do have uh, treated and quite long hair. So I'm constantly looking for something that's just you know, good price and actually works. And that stuff works really, really well. I want to talk about that I uh, really enjoyed using this fall that I found is a Thinks um, period panties. Woohoo! Um, if you had seen my video, I'll link it below as well. I did like a little review on them. Those are life changing, and I'm so glad that I got on the Thinks train. I got some new. I got some new glasses this fall. It's been like three years since I got new glasses and started a new job or went back to an old job, whatever. Uh, and I have really good benefits with that job. So I got some new glasses. I'll show you guys. I don't wear them on camera very often because I film with a ring light. So you'll see the reflection. These are just super, see my reflection of my ring light. These are so pretty. These are from Versace. Yeah, I know they sound really bougie, but um, because such I have I have such a round face, I have so such a difficult time finding glasses that will fit my face. Like they're always just too small. Like 
the shape is sometimes fine, but the, they're just small and they look ridiculous. So I feel like I have to get higher quality brands because they just have better shapes for my faces. My face is my face. I only have one face. Yeah, so these are my glasses. You don't really see the ring light too badly, but aren't they cute? <laughs> and of course, I did get a um, pair of sunglasses with that as well. These are by Prada. These are super nice as well. My sunglasses. <laughs> super cute. Uh, these are kind of like retro old Hollywood, I guess. And then the other ones are just like granny, which I love, you know, <laughs> gaudy granny. <laughs> Super cute. Another thing that I've been watching and loving, well, I already watched it all. I watched it in like three days. Let's be real. Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. And that is like the same creator that made the Muppets. So it's by Jim Henson. Henson? Henson? I don't know. Uh, totally obsessed. Like I cannot wait for the next episode or season to come out um it's based off the movie the dark crystal in the 80s that one was like kind of shitty like it's just this one has so much more appealing story wise and like detailed and um even more detailed and appealing to watch just like visually there's just so much more going on so if you're into like sci-fi kind of stuff this is really a great show that's i i love it and finally, for my last fall's favorites, I did get a, uh, a few tattoos. I'm back on my tattoo train. I always get a few per year. But I recently got two, and I'll insert some photos. I got a troll because I'm a child of the 90s. And I love trolls. Who doesn't love trolls? And then the other one is actually a um, portrait of my long-haired chihuahua gypsy. So the tattoo artist did a great job. They're both done by the same person. They're both great. I love them both so much. Now for the good stuff. The flops. Everybody always wants to hear about all the shit that you're going to talk about, all the bad things. So let's talk about the bad things because everybody likes to hear the bad things. And also just like worth talking about because don't spend your money on this stuff. It sucks. Do you not have a picture of this? I have, I don't know where it is. I think it's at work. I don't know. Maybe, probably. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I will insert a photo for you guys, is the BLAK black mask. This was, I think, popular a few years ago. Um, I had this little sample size from Ipsy, and I just started using it this fall. It sucks, man. It sucks. It's just, um, I think it was like a fad quite a few years ago. But So it's just a peel-off black mask. That's all it is. And I feel like it does absolutely zero for your skin. It doesn't do anything. And I feel like it just hurts. It just hurts. If I put a mask on... Uh, whether it be peel off or a sheet or whatever It's just something that I want to be like have like a mini luxury little experience I don't want it to hurt when I have to take it off my face. It just hurts and the fact that it does nothing makes it Really shitty. So don't don't buy it. It's a fail major fail So the next thing on my list is actually Tarte Rainforest of the Sea a setting spray Sucks Sucks I don't know if I got like a crappy one, but the sprayer on this was like defective from the get-go. It didn't do like an even mist. It was just like big fat droplets all over the place. So I put it into another bottle and it's still, it sprayed better in another bottle, but it just was not very effective for my skin. I felt like it didn't keep me matte or keep my makeup on very well throughout the day. So don't buy this if you have oily skin. It's really not worth it. An eye cream! This is also something that I found in my Ipsy stash um, that sucks. I don't know the name. Here you go. You can read that. It's not working. Anyways, it's She's CDO? CDO? I don't know. Benefice. Benefits, yes. I don't know if it's French, probably. I don't know. Um, 
this is just an eye cream. Thank God it's so small. I'm mean, still gonna take me forever to go through it. I've been using it. It sucks. It just doesn't soak into your skin. I don't feel like it does anything remarkably that I can notice right away. And it just sits on top of your skin, I swear, for like an hour. Even if you apply it not overly generously, it just it just sits there. It just sits and it's greasy and it's oily and it's gross. So I can only like apply this if I'm not putting on makeup right away or like at nighttime. And I hate it, I don't wanna even use it, but eye creams are expensive, so your girl's gonna use this, but not really enjoy it. Flop. This is um, a Bumble and Bumble product. Again, it's at work. I'll just insert a photo. Uh, sometimes when I'm at work, I try to use stuff that I don't really like the smell of because I'm not around my boyfriend, so yeah. So I do like to use uh, thickening hair serums or products, I guess treatments, I should say. Uh, so this is by Bumble and Bumble, and I believe it might even be discontinued. I couldn't find it on the Sephora website to buy. I don't know. Anyway, so it's just a serum that you like put on your hands and apply to like your roots and like maybe or put it through your hair but we really focus more on your roots um it's supposed to thicken your hair i do like to use serums like i said but um this one just smells bad i don't know if it's gone bad i really don't think it has i feel like that's just the product it just sort of smells like earthy and like natural and it just like leaves my hair kind of uh oily feeling whereas other thickening serums don't do that I don't really know if it does anything for my hair but I'm using it up anyway somebody gave it to me and it's just I won't repurchase it and I don't even think you can so that's telling you that it sucks I have a small baby um, body spray by body fantasies this is disgusting the scent is white musk it's not like overly disgusting it just sort of smells like flower grandma and i'm all for like dressing like a grandma but like this i don't want to smell like a grandma um i used it as like a room spray at work not my favorite glad it's finished but it just smells not very nice this is a cleanser um eve long I don't know. I don't even know if I was like using this correctly. I got this in a box from like the UK, like some beauty box. I, I don't know. So you're supposed to apply this to like, it was like a cream almost. And um, it, I don't know if also this has gone bad either, but I used it and it just stunk. It still stinks when I just opened that there. <laughs> and um, you just applied it to like your dry skin and you massaged it in and then you rinsed it off. And I just didn't enjoy this. I don't know if it really worked great as a cleanser. I feel like it was probably expensive and I would never use this again. It just sucked. So, um, gross, smelled gross. I didn't like, I hate applying cleansers to dry skin. I'd rather like lather with water and stuff. So I don't like the application process and I didn't like the smell of this. Don't buy this. And finally, the last thing on my list over here. Again, I don't know where I threw it. I probably threw it out, actually. I am going to insert a photo here. It is the Sentience Lip Volumizing, or Slip Volumizer, I should say. Um, so I try to use lip plumpers, and the more I use, they never work. They don't do shit. It's just a thing. I should stop wasting my money on them. I feel like this one was like $70. It didn't do anything. It didn't even make my lips tingly like most of them gen generally do. But anyway, so I'm gonna insert a photo here. I used it for 30 days. I used it sometimes twice a day, but it says you only need to use it once a day. But I used it for sure once a day for the 30 days and sometimes more. Here's a photo. Don't those photos look exactly the same? Yeah, didn't do shit. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to break down and get lip injections eventually because this is just not happening. I don't know. But, or just give up on buying lip volumizers, plumpers, because they really never work. If you know of any that kind of work, I'd be grateful and then I could try them maybe one last time. I, I don't know. We'll see. 
But yeah, it sucked. Don't buy it. So that is it for my fall favorites and flops. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you enjoyed or didn't enjoy using this fall. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.